The Cook Doctrine Leading Apple in a Globalized World Tim Cook, Apple's CEO since 2011, has carefully cultivated a leadership style distinct from his predecessor, the late Steve Jobs. While Jobs was known for his visionary and sometimes abrasive approach, Cook has brought a different energy to the helm of Apple. Known for his calm demeanor and strategic prowess, Cook has steered Apple through a period of immense growth and change, particularly in its relationship with China. His ability to maintain a steady hand during turbulent times has been a hallmark of his leadership. Under Cook's leadership, Apple has deepened its reliance on China, both as a manufacturing hub and a critical consumer market. This symbiotic relationship has been mutually beneficial, allowing Apple to scale its operations and reach millions of new customers. This approach has brought immense success, but also new complexities in navigating geopolitical tensions and evolving regulatory landscapes. The delicate balance of maintaining strong ties with China while addressing concerns from other global stakeholders is a constant challenge. Cook's recent visit to China, his second this year, underscores the importance he places on nurturing this vital relationship. These visits are not just about business, they are about building trust and understanding in a rapidly changing world. As the world's two largest economies grapple with economic uncertainty and technological competition, Cook's diplomacy and commitment to dialogue take on even greater significance. His efforts are aimed at ensuring that Apple can continue to thrive in both markets. The visit, coming at a time of heightened scrutiny of U.S.-China relations, signals Apple's intent to maintain open lines of communication and seek common ground. This proactive approach is essential in a world where political and economic landscapes are constantly shifting. Cook's approach reflects a broader trend of multinational corporations navigating the complex dynamics between the U.S. and China. Companies are increasingly finding themselves at the intersection of business and politics, requiring a nuanced understanding of both. With global supply chains intertwined and technological innovation at the forefront of competition, finding ways to cooperate while addressing concerns becomes paramount. The ability to innovate while managing these relationships is a key factor in Apple's continued success. Cook's visit serves as a high-profile example of how business leaders are increasingly engaging in diplomatic efforts, seeking to build bridges and foster understanding in an increasingly fractured geopolitical landscape. His actions highlight the role of corporate diplomacy in today's interconnected world. Tim Cook's 2024 China visit a bridge over troubled waters. In a year marked by escalating tensions between the U.S. and China, the world watched closely as Tim Cook embarked on a significant journey to Beijing. Tim Cook's recent trip to Beijing has drawn significant attention, not just from the tech industry, but from global political analysts as well. The visit, shrouded in a degree of secrecy typical of Apple, centered around a key meeting with Jin Zhuanglong, China's Minister of Industry and Information Technology. This meeting was crucial, given the current geopolitical climate. This meeting, taking place against the backdrop of ongoing trade disputes and technological rivalry, highlighted the importance of maintaining dialogue between the two economic giants. It was a delicate dance of diplomacy and business strategy. While specific details of the discussions remain closely guarded, official statements and expert analysis provide some insights into the key topics addressed. These included not only business interests, but also broader economic implications. Investments, data security, and cloud services emerged as focal points, reflecting the evolving landscape of U.S.-China tech relations. These areas are critical for the future of both nations' technological advancements. The discussions likely delved into how both countries can collaborate and compete in these sectors, ensuring mutual growth while safeguarding national interests. These issues, carrying significant implications for both Apple's operations and the broader technological landscape, underscore the high stakes involved in navigating this complex relationship. The outcomes could shape the future of global tech markets. The timing of Cook's visit, coming shortly after new U.S. restrictions on chip exports to China, adds another layer of complexity. These restrictions have far-reaching consequences for the tech industry. This context suggests that discussions likely touched upon the impact of these restrictions and the potential for finding mutually agreeable solutions. Both sides have much to gain from a stable and cooperative relationship. Cook's visit, therefore, can be seen as an attempt to manage expectations, address concerns, and maintain a degree of stability in the face of geopolitical headwinds. 
it was a strategic move to ensure that both Apple and the broader tech industry can navigate these troubled waters effectively. Investments, a cornerstone of Apple's presence in China, took center stage during Cook's discussions with Minister Jin. Apple's vast manufacturing operations in China, employing millions directly and indirectly, represent a significant commitment to the Chinese economy. Maintaining and potentially expanding these investments likely featured prominently in the talks, as Apple seeks to secure its supply chains and navigate China's evolving economic landscape. China, for its part, has signaled its continued interest in attracting foreign investment, particularly in high-tech sectors. Apple's presence, beyond its economic impact, carries symbolic weight, representing a vote of confidence in China's technological capabilities and market potential. Discussions likely revolved around ensuring a favorable investment climate for Apple, addressing concerns related to regulations, intellectual property protection, and market access. The evolving geopolitical landscape, however, adds a layer of complexity to investment decisions. The U.S. government's push for companies to diversify their supply chains, coupled with China's focus on fostering domestic innovation, creates a delicate balancing act for companies like Apple. Cook's visit likely involved navigating these competing pressures, seeking to reassure both sides of Apple's commitment to responsible and mutually beneficial investments. Section 4. Navigating the Data Security Labyrinth Data security, a paramount concern in the digital age, emerged as another key topic during Cook's visit. With Apple's vast user base and its commitment to user privacy, navigating China's data security regulations presents unique challenges. Discussions likely centered around finding common ground between Apple's privacy policies and China's data localization requirements which mandate that certain types of data be stored within its borders. China, in recent years, has implemented stricter data security laws, aiming to protect user privacy and national security. These regulations, while well-intentioned, have raised concerns among foreign companies about data access and the potential for government surveillance. Apple, known for its robust encryption and privacy features, faces the challenge of complying with these regulations while upholding its commitment to user privacy. Cook's visit likely involved seeking clarifications on data security regulations and exploring potential solutions that address both Chinese requirements and Apple's privacy principles. Finding a workable compromise is crucial for Apple to maintain its presence in the Chinese market while upholding its values. The outcome of these discussions could have broader implications for other companies operating in China, setting a precedent for how data security concerns are addressed in the future. Section 5. Cloud Services, a new frontier in U.S.-China tech relations. Cloud services, a rapidly growing segment of the tech industry, represent a new frontier in U.S.-China tech relations, and this topic likely featured prominently in Cook's discussions. The cloud services market is expanding at an unprecedented rate, driven by the increasing demand for data storage and processing capabilities. Apple's cloud services, including iCloud, are integral to its ecosystem of devices and services and expanding their reach in China presents both opportunities and challenges. The seamless integration of iCloud with Apple devices enhances user experience, making it a crucial component of Apple's strategy. Discussions likely revolved around navigating regulatory hurdles, addressing data security concerns, and potentially establishing partnerships with local companies. These discussions are essential for understanding the regulatory landscape and finding ways to comply with local laws while maintaining service quality. China, with its massive internet user base and growing demand for cloud services, represents a lucrative market for Apple. The sheer number of internet users in China offers a significant opportunity for growth, making it a key market for any tech company. However, stringent data localization requirements and restrictions on foreign cloud providers create barriers to entry. These regulations are designed to protect national security and data privacy, but they also pose significant challenges for foreign companies. Apple, to expand its cloud footprint in China, may need to explore joint ventures or partnerships with local companies, a strategy that comes with its own set of complexities. Joint ventures can provide a way to navigate regulatory challenges, but they also require careful negotiation and management. The U.S. government's scrutiny of Chinese tech companies' access to U.S. data adds another layer of complexity. 
This scrutiny is part of broader concerns about data security and national security, which affect how companies operate internationally. Apple, in navigating this sensitive landscape, needs to ensure that its cloud operations in China comply with both U.S. and Chinese regulations. Compliance is not just about following the law, it's also about building trust with users and governments. Cook's visit likely involves seeking clarity on these regulations and exploring potential solutions that address both countries' concerns. Finding a balance between regulatory compliance and business objectives is crucial for long-term success. The outcome of these discussions could shape the future of cloud computing in China and influence the broader U.S.-China tech relationship. The decisions made today will have lasting impacts on how technology evolves and how companies operate across